Tell us about this monkey, Carl. You're gonna love this one, Steve, Go right? On. Uh, yeah, so last week we were talking about how, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right. No, leave it there, oh, Rick. We haven't got time to go into right, it. So that's what happened. And that's what happened. He lived with the monkeys, he went airy. That's, anyway, what, happened. that's what happened. Looked into, uh, some other stuff about, like, airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right. So, uh. Um, Trouble's brewing. L loving his job and that, but it's, qu it's quite a lonely sort of job because you don't see many people, you're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So, anyway, wow. he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to, to a human. Well, that he is. Right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Is well, it dangerous? What do, you, what do you mean? What type was it? What, do you Just mean let him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. So it was a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does so it? So he gets pally with him. Right, so he gets pally with well, him. Well, did they go on holiday together? Well, no, I mean, it starts on off- the starts off just checking each other out and, uh, you know, probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right? Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh, you know, they, they're getting on well and that. And then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks he could he could live at home with me, this. Yeah. Because we're getting on the storm. Yeah. Right? So he takes him home and before you know Is this the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried, because he's already <laughs> imitating you and they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> Oh, brilliant! Right, so anyway, so it's moving in and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah, uh, <laughs> pinky tips. As a, <laughs> as a, uh, it finishes the day off with a. Oh with a, dear! Finishes, <laughs> finishes the day off with what? It with does, a, it a does little not move a piano at one point. <laughs> he does he finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> what, he pours himself. A, is he wearing a smoking jacket? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Carl. You, you're listen, a maniac. Listen, mate. no, this is this is why it attracted me. It's amazing, right? <laughs> right. So he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of. Um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice So it's the opposite head. of the kid. Well, no, yeah. This is what well, I'm that, saying. that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he's don't shaved even know. or if it's How did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you right, can well, see okay, if I've gone wrong. Keep going, keep so going. anyway, so, wow. um, so this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because he's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the zoo. This is such <laughs> So the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he round. says there's no point you coming in to the zoo because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back, so he said, you stay at home. So you are ju you're talking such Just a let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me- oh, I'm fascinated. It's, ne it's it nearly over amazing. anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary, Carl. So, <coughs> it, he's walking up, right? He's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy. Um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go away, Steve. How does he do that? Well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, but, but, what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's but, built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well hung. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So, it's not a quick joke and just, uh, put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how- I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> exactly. And he- oh, that What is... was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing, <laughs> Carl? The fact that He's not going to be talking with her. They're not going to be playing like, trivia pursuit. Maybe. Maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, it didn't go into that. It just said it, that's when the trouble started. Carl, play a record. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Suzanne did when she brought you in? <laughs> Have you got any, have you got anything interesting about a monkey or a, an ape so we can do chimpanzee that? I know something that a lot of other people will know, but I'll I'll Well, well let's do it then. Chimpanz chim what's it called again? Where should we do a jingle? Well <laughs> do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh chimpanzee that!
<laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's your interesting, interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about um, this monkey ages ago. <laughs> of course. Uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> You know it. <laughs> what do you mean, do I know it? Oh, now it down. Those got, are chimps are caught with wood binds. Right, it got caught having a fag. So it was sent to court. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did it get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent to get 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. Because it was, it was Go back a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 No, whoa. I don't know the f- that's, that's as much as I know, so there's no point questioning. That is as much as you know, isn't it? Quite right. literally. <laughs> Sorry, but why did he go to prison? Uh, it's, it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag, wherever you <laughs> are. In a built-up area? What are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if he got it himself? Even if it just- what about if it, if it earned it himself, just like, moving tyres round or mucking mucking out the zebras? I don't know the full story, that's- You a, don't know the full story, do you? But do you think- <laughs> You never do, do you? I presume you? it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad because I just Carl, thought, well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like the, where I got it from. And Chop can... Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just? Uh, <laughs> and he, he did. Okay then. Oh, chimpanzee! That another one next week. I don't think so. Ah, I right, you'll like this one. Um, what I found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names, like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And... So, they're, they're, they're not born with those names, it's not like their parents give them those names, you know, they're just yeah, chimps, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this one, right? And, um... It's called Crap? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? <laughs> I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that, because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some... I've had some, uh, umbongo, and that's all. <laughs> uh... But no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head? <laughs> What are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird, because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I, you don't what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Um, I, you, I, I, what? There's got to be a third Why is that, act to that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I don't know. Didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but it didn't say why. Was that said. enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied having read that? Did you not have other I questions? mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what, I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know, I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Right, come on, monkey news. We're well, not, not we're not, it's not called monkey news. Uh, chimpanzee, we're not gonna pack all the monkey stuff in, we've got a quarter of an hour. <laughs> what, what other show can say that? <laughs> yeah. We've got, I mean, we're not gonna pack in all the monkey yeah. news. We've got 15 minutes, but we can't get all the monkey information <laughs> in. Right, come on. Well, you're gonna love this one. Uh, go yeah. on, is there, the, uh, let's have the jingle. 
Oh, chimpanzee that! Right, um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it, ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in a place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew, well, there's no point in getting it on VHS. The grudge were on VHS. You're having a- Throw it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right, and I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, you familiar with this? And, uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know, is he a zoo in Hackney? Is he a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was. But it, it was like- Is going, there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff. And, um, <laughs> the, the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that- And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Yeah, uh, DVDs, I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure somewhere. it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How is he breaking into homes? They're good, aren't At they? the drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. <laughs> well, I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to- There was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if, in Hackney if- Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch. Which would have been good, <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that uh, kept getting on buses, not paying its fare, not paying its fare, and just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl, you're an idiot. Well, that that wasn't in London. You're an idiot. That, that was in America. It wouldn't read somewhere. the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the inspector will notice my uh, hairy hands. Oh! Well, Pillington. Uh, Carl, Carl, Pillington. I've just had a news flash that an infinite number of monkeys in Hackney and icking an infinite number of typewriters. Yeah. We don't no. know what for. At this stage, we've got no more information. And they've, they've taken back an infinite amount of graduate on <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> this is rubbish. <laughs> Sorry, what was the what was the sorry, sorry what was the monkey news quickly? There no, 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 no. We got to save monkey news. We'll have to do that when we. Uh, when is we're it next quick? Off. Is it quick? Going into the record. Uh, what the monkey news? Is it quick? Yeah. I, I can tell it to you quick. Quick then. Right. Jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that go. Shambles. Hurry up! There's a monkey in India, right, on a uh, railway station, waiting for the train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mess it out because I've got to get through it quick. <laughs> There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, and uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something. <laughs> goes running off down the platform. The police are chasing them. Monkey steps in, trips the fella up, pins him down. Police come and arrest the fella. He tripped over the monkey. Okay, play a record. He didn't. He tripped over he the didn't. monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. Did you check okay. the timetable? Okay, leave it. All right. right. The, uh, there's been a few things, but one that springs to mind is, uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. Right? <laughs> okay. This is brilliant. <laughs> yep. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh... Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh... I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, found a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. <laughs> Go on. They're having a good chat. All right. They found monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about five hundred and thirty-four different words that they're using. 
to like have a chat about stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah, what do they chat about then? Just, you know, things that monkeys are worrying about. Just, <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know. Who does your hair? <laughs> you going out with her again, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were was... they discussing the humanzy? Did you see that programme on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can I walk think... up right. Yeah. Good, but, I mean, what, Did you what see how they, well Do you mean they was? taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um... Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorer was over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley? Well, it wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. Oh, snod grass. Where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird, isn't it? No, it's not weird. It's not true. Well, but, right, come on. Then, what's well, next? Once again, but what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, that did happen. So well, right. It's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> monkey news. Yeah, monkey news. <laughs> sure, monkey, monkey news. <laughs> right, if you're a new listener, this is where we do a bit of monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine him giving his chance on a news program, yeah. like Newsnight Review or News at Ten, uh, over to Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Monkey's gone mad again. Go on. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of picked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Well, right. He's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh -huh. right. Oh yeah, the one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is he speaks, right? Oh God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And, uh, he also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> And he lost teeth. I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh Which, gosh! Right, oh. That, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type. Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. Hang well, on, I'd love to have some monkey news though. Go on then. Got any monkey news? Yeah, got some monkey news. Come on then. No, Rick. Come on. Cheer up. Cheer well, up. it's it's just sort of like he moans that he's got too much time on his hands, and he comes up with that. Shh. <laughs> okay. Shite. Monkey news. The jingle, please. Ooh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Uh, okay, there's excellent. been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me 20 quid. Yeah, well that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so there's, that's there's one in there. New music, new music! New, new monkey news <laughs> from last September! You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Police, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right, there was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. All right. Mm. And uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey, and uh, you're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said uh, the people in charge were like, "Oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids?" Brilliant, right? So uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand, sort of, you know, they'd have the little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of uh, lean on the fence, having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the, yeah, the, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fascinating. Uh, yeah, just, just gossiping, I understand. So, uh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, it's tuning in. What was the uh, monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, st you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting. No, no sort of action. <sighs> So what the zookeepers did was, they uh, they said, "I know how they'll have kids." Are we letting that go? Come they on. were just chatting. Are we just letting just, that go? We're letting you it know go. what I mean? They, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So um, so yeah. So the zookeepers were like, "Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna you know have some kids." Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do t to sort of do to egg them on? Yeah. Um, bought them, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going. No, I'm not. Having Shut it. up, Jervis. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married? Yeah, they got married. Right. 
What? That's the end of it. That's... This is why I don't. Right. <laughs> that's the end of Monkey News. <laughs> that's the end of Monkey News. Don't do that again. You've got no features left. Why don't you like that? What? Well, it's not a story. See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids. And come on, they got married. That's the end of the story. What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you he mean you didn't make a mistake? Wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check. Let me just check the facts. So they 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 bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other, or did they were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just forced. And it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa, it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record. You've got no features left. Well, anyway, today's today's story uh, was emailed in. Uh, so you didn't even do anything towards it. <laughs> well, so when you say I've been working on Monkey News, what you you printed that out? So is the making of Monkey News you checking your email? Well, Brilliant. No, I'm always looking at different options. At you know how much is going on. This yeah. is what makes me laugh when he says he's, he's really busy. Yeah. I'm doing other stuff and that. I'm doing yeah. other stuff. People are sending him Monkey News. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get an email. Is it from it Reuters? Out. Well, listen, it's from Steve, okay. right? Okay. Uh, now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything's normal, everyone's yeah. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in. With a gun and a balaclava on. Oof, up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey-related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> yeah, you are never. Uh, so, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay, let's right. hear the end. It's a it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, Is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. <laughs> Shut up, Rick. Let me let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right. Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish you didn't come in here. It's not going to be a good day. How tall is it. the man? Shut up. Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know. Oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what? Thinking, in English? Shh. In English? Yeah. Think in English. So. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's all bad news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders <laughs> in, right? Uh, go goes up to the robber. Where did it- where did it come from? <laughs> Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't sit down, sit down yeah, and I'm, I'm not having this. And it does, it, it, does, it does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are you have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No! What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in whether was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking? Think, Carl. Think. I know it's mad. That's that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how how like how monkeys are, are pretty. You know, they're mental. Yeah, ah! They're up to no good. What are you think? They've never seen the monkey since. What did he have a get getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish. Well, uh, Steve, Steve emailed it in, he's got it off the net, and the funny oh, okay. thing is, Can the I funny thing is, the there? yeah, the funny thing is, um, it, it wasn't just him who sent it. I had that a couple of times, so 
a few people obviously read the story and said, you know, that'll be good for monkey news. It doesn't say anymore. It doesn't say if he went off to Spain. It doesn't say, you know, what, you know, if he's on Crime Watch. Yeah. It doesn't say any of that. It's just saying that's what he did. That's the story. And that's what Monkey News is about. I've heard that they're making a movie version with Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 so I look forward to that and Judy Waters. So that's, that's this week's Monkey News. If you've got any, you know, well, if anything's no, happening in your town. no, don't bother. In your that's the end. No, that is the end. That's the end of Monkey News. No more Monkey News. Okay, so monkey news, please. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's hear the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Right. <laughs> now, before- before- oh, I And again, and again. Go on. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Brilliant. All right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the- he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then he nicked the robber's loot and backed out yeah. with a gun. Yeah, he everybody... sort of stole- he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He, he took the weapons, he took all the weapons, there was like a couple of robbers. He managed- because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, now what was that, that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he, no, no, no. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so the follow-up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo, right? Uh, you, uh, right, Carl, you're talking shit. Don't we, Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out the official Imagine thing? if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't it wouldn't happen. I don't want to, I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go, get him, he's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates? His monkey mates, so they've all got a couple of guns each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I cannot Just stand it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to do him a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going, tell him that, I'm right. not going, now I can't. Step out for a moment. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, don't listen, it. step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I'll need to hear, I need to hear right, the end of this. Out, this yeah. is monkey news, this is important right. stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room, he cannot- he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we give you some cash? Yes. And they go- oh. Sorry, well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds- Right. Say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, We'll give you some money. Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. <laughs> right, I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. Go! What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um, and what happened is, I think, uh, I think that I think they were happy with that. I think they left and that was that. They they, they wanted to get out of the zoo because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I, I don't. Uh, just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place? This one. Just let Steve have a. So why did he go? So he went and robbed. He thought uh, what he knew there was going to be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape, and then that happened, and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no. If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's going to get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I, I've got a, I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right. What I mean, Carl, think, think, please think. Right. So this this monkey, right? He leaves the zoo, right? He, so he leaves the zoo, which he can do presumably. What they leave him the keys or what? They're chatting to him, they might as well. He goes to a bank, what, what's he- what's he thinking of doing? Sees a robbery, probably by chance. He probably wasn't tipped off, was he? Or has he got one of those police scanners? Probably got one of those police scanners. Well, he? I think he was going to the bank to get a mortgage to, uh, build a, a lot, slightly, uh, I think he wanted an extension, didn't he, on his, uh, cage? Think of that, and so, he- I love the fact that he hands out the guns and they do a deal. <laughs> it's- uh, honestly. 
You've got the best, you've got the best mind working on radio today. It's incredible. So we're doing it now. Let's play the jingle. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news night! <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, um, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. You ready? Yeah. Right. There's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Probably, internet. I'm, I'm short on it. on the internet. I'm short on <laughs> it. So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, he starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. <laughs> okay. I'd love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train sort of come in on the right line. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains come in and that. I have British Rider listening. Yeah. Right. Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company are happy with that. I'm <laughs> sure they, 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 they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, probably. Well, well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation <laughs> of their news before they give it out as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face and <laughs> transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. All right, anyway, better monkey news that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Mm. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right, good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the jungle. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down, um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there, and it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and, uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack so, so it's a, so it's a pet monkey? It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it, it's, it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job and then it's So what does it say? It, it says, Junior £15, stylist £35, <laughs> monkey £63. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> Right. Maybe, maybe it did But it looks good, its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang yeah, on. Yeah, but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because yeah. that's what I thought when I read it, about having yeah. a good haircut. How right? often do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You used uh, to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, and it was run by sort of you know these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd uh, 
you know, you're going what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for air cut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to take it. <laughs> no, no, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I air cut. I don't want to be hassled. Yeah, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who worked in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack next to a <laughs> railway station. <laughs> So, um, can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So anyway, that's all, yeah. I yeah. didn't quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about, he wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there. He was just training, said, this yeah. is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then it's just the, it's that it's the embellishment. You don't walk in. He walked from a jungle to an hairdresser. <laughs> I mean, you're an idiot. You really are. An idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said this is relaxing. Apparently, he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right on people's heads. He said, "Let's put him on the payroll." So Let's put him on the payroll. What do you mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Cane. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Mm -hmm. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for like salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And nits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets when it gets <laughs> deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But but a good monkey news, you know, yeah. backed up with uh, with good tabloid <laughs> with journalism. With so yeah, with solid yeah. evidence there. So now that's I think we maybe we should start marking the monkey news, Rick. I don't know what you think, giving it marks out of ten maybe. Uh, for both interest and validity. Well, for interest, I'll give it seven. For Carl's, uh, Carl believing that there was something to this monkey thinking it had a job and getting yeah, paid. but it was also <laughs> doing kind of perms. Two. And colouring. Two. Yeah. Ridiculous. Again. Yeah. Ridiculous. More monkey news next week. Hopefully let's just hear that jingle again. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news! So let's have official monkey news. Play the jingle. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news! Right, we've got to be quick. Go but, on, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet, because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um, the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? The lab fella was busy on the phone or something. Yeah. Right? And, um... Mm. Typical. It's wandering about. It goes up to a, a PC. That's in the corner. A little computer. Types down, my name is Marty. Right? Mm. So, the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Let right. him finish oh. before you question. Always let him finish. Right. I don't know what to do. Times against us. Come I on. He said, uh, he said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here saying, my name's Marty. Right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate saying, you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there typing, this isn't a practical joke. My name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? I, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh. I think, we, I, think I, it's, I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat, chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Has right, he got his own Carl. website yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire stuff here? Have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a wind-up. It's a joke. It's not even... You haven't even got some of the facts wrong. It's just a wind-up. Have you noticed the date? Is it April the 1st? It is April the 1st. You are joking. That it was sent. You're an idiot, Carl. 
It was set on April the 1st, Carl. So you're saying the monkey knows it's April the 1st, but you and don't believe- And he's doing a wind-up, yes. Yeah, I think the- I think the monkey is, has thought, I'll do it on April the 1st so that people think that it's a wind-up, but in actual fact I am a monkey that can type and read. Well, it's that time. It's getting exciting, we've got Rockbusters results, but before that, a little bit of monkey news with- Oh, Chimpanzee that! Monkey news! <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Nice to have, I haven't read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? It's been Don't say anything think about it, as you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true, do monkeys do that, do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little monkey working, working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, mm -hmm. do a little bit of magic, people loved it. Yeah. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there were so mo many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do you use, names, what do you yeah. do, so yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- What, well, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna go see tonight? I don't know. It's, uh, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they exactly. They numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Because in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, said how about we, uh... <laughs> See? <laughs> no, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, alright, go on then. Right, so, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great, so the monkey was like, brilliant. So, they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat, and, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh-huh. And, uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, alright, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's round. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst oh, he's filling yeah. up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, it, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car, <laughs> or we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. <laughs> so, uh- That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let- right, finish it better story. not be, it better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant, You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fellow says, what are you talking P about, Pump, pump four? 4? isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use- no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about, there's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You Sticks his head out of the door, yeah. the monkey's given it some, uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just- let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts! So, it number 86. It number, number 86, 86 drove- He drove to Spain. You are- uh, honestly, Carl, I- you must know- It was an automatic. Right. Carl, how did he- how You did must he... know, that is shit. There is no way a monkey- mad, That's the thing with his feature, though. It gets stopped at customs! It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Has he got a passport? No, 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 he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Right, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, and, uh, record because I can't- facts, that's, yeah. that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. 
Yeah, a bit of suede. Yeah, stay yeah. together. My favourite. One of eighty-six's favourites. <laughs> Is that monkey news for this week? Have we not got oh, any that, other monkey, monkey news? news? Well, well, it's just, it hasn't been that good. I mean, the one that I found out here, um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that got a, got a decent job in a train station, um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just there? some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean, so that's what you've got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um... Just we'll tell us! Another monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got uh, another one, you know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> they decided to, you know, get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it yeah. pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and, uh... <laughs> they could do! Spread. I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh. Celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because but it's not true, <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not. And an over website, official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind <laughs> romance. God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was in the tyre, yeah. he saw it, <laughs> yeah. he went, I have a go at that, they go, we well, got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, do you just, yeah. did you just shut He was in a zoo knocking one off, she went, I can do that for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess say the monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. Oh. His bride was, <laughs> Not his, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was, no, I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, Like, right, you right. know, Did I'm, you, I'm yeah, single now, thoughts. it's like, you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure, looked lovely, sure. by the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the this is... The guests in I hope they didn't ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. <laughs> <laughs> With strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub, and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I, I really, I, well, I apologise. Play a record. Right. right, come on now. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to save this link now. Monkey news. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff, <laughs> right, on monkeys, um, and most of it has been- It's uh, bollocks! No, it's been, has been like, happy stories. Oh, <laughs> is this a sad, it's not, it's just gonna be like our tune, our monkey tune. That's Simon Bates and, uh, welcome to our monkey tune. No, but do, do you know what I mean? We've, do, we've done, we've done stuff about a monkey that <laughs> robbed a bank. Yeah. Why uh, is that happy? He had a great life after that. Right. What, in Marbella? Yeah. Right, we did, uh, the one who, who uh, saved someone's handbag in a railway station. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lovely marriage, couple of marriages. Couple <laughs> of marriages. Couple of monkey marriages. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, there was the one who got a job in a railway station. Yeah, the hairdresser. The one who set up a business in Spain. <laughs> I don't even I remember, don't that, remember one. that one. Either. But, I mean, uh, I'm willing to believe that that happened. Go on then, Carl. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today's isn't isn't that uh, isn't that happy really? It's about uh, some monkey. I think it was a chimp. Um, <laughs> Who's an ape? Go on. It tried to. It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> What are you talking about, Carl? I don't, it it I jumped mean, past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? Are you do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, "There's this monkey went to Russia um, <laughs> to do some business, I know. do some stuff." I don't know. Bit of monkey business. And um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> so, they were furious. <laughs> we wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh, no, joking. So it was taking a turn for the worst. What, couldn't even get into a, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff. Um, 
you know, share and drink and we'll have you around a little fire. <coughs> um, they broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so they're not flat. homeless anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a, you know, a roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his He mate. said that in Russian, though. <laughs> what, what, is it, what, what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, I didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, like, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that, I mean, they, they, fat classically just sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so. Sure. He probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? There was a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left uh, little chimps out there, got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And, uh, the boss was like, what's going on here? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so, the, uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going, <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What, did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just, like, bat, you know? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the, uh, give you the story if you want. Uh, there's the headline. What is it? What's the headline, Steve? I don't want to see it, but... The headline, this is once again from supposedly reputable news organisation Ananova, homeless monkey arrested in Russia. Uh. <laughs> did- sorry, did you read on or did you see the headline and make up that whole story? It's, most, most of it is there. What- most what isn't it. there? What- what bit isn't there then? Uh, no, I think- I think, you know, uh, uh, Steve can have a look over it, check it out and stuff. Point but out it, the embellishment was... for me, Steve, will you? Wh well, what it doesn't say is, uh, <laughs> that the police didn't realise it was a monkey. That's what I was guessing. That's what I was guessing. Really. That they got it back and they said, what are you doing? We've got a monkey here. And they go, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. There's some more, uh, monkey problems in the week. Have you seen the Alfords advert with monkeys in? No. There's a new advert out for Alfords, selling bikes and stuff. Yeah. Got some monkeys in it. It's yeah. caused an uproar. Why? People are saying it's, uh... You know, dressing them up in tracksuits and that is, uh Taking the mickey out of Manchester. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not nice for the animals and that. So there's been loads of complaints about it. they get a free it. bike or something, do they, I imagine? I think they kept the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nearly the end of the show, but we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't let them down, would we? You know what it is now, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> All right. Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online, right? I didn't no. have the internet, so it was like, oh, what am I going to do? And I didn't come back till yesterday, and I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So, I said to my dad, do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys? Brilliant. This is a No, this is what Trevor McDonald does. Turned out- he Quarter to ten, he goes, <laughs> yeah. oh, got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, sorry, yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched living in Manchester-like, <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp. Um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh, God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> Had to thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife! I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh. I'd call him up, but he's one of them who, like, swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on and C just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. I do a lot of work, that. Yeah, well, well, it, 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 
Well, we're not scared of work, are no, we? No, I mean, I'll get myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, oh, you know, so. I've heard of the word, I've heard of the sort of out. Yeah, try yeah, to sort that out. Yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story then, let's let him say it in his own No, words. but there was another one as well. Uh, some When fella... you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but there's him, and there's some other fellow he knows who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh, I think he said he went, my dad went round one day, I don't know why. Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answered <laughs> Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answer in the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No, I'm sure no, it wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on um, then. This is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh, another phrase. We've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't teach yeah. your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimpanzee the jaw if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> God, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, biggest yeah, shambles yeah, yeah. on air, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Dr. Fox? Dr. Mm -hmm. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, wa he, uh, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, long time ago, right? Yeah, in the, uh, olden days, yeah. In go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm hmm Right? Having a good life. Of course. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? So, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees, yeah. right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry. I, I, yeah. Everything's going great, so they're happy in that. They go out of bed, <laughs> Okay. wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon <laughs> either your dad's been around, or... Is the, this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out, it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. <laughs> <laughs> from the rough bit! From the rough bit! I love it! They, they went into a middle class area. Oh, oh, they're that the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant! From a rough part of the island. <laughs> so, the monkeys thought, well there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, and they carry chains. So... <laughs> They got flip knives and tattoos. Yeah, go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas. <laughs> this is such shit! This is such shit! <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Christ! Right, calm down, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh, God! What do you mean they said it? Forget it. No! Forget don't it. forget it! Calm down, sir. Switch the record off. Switch the record off. Christ. Switch the record off, Carl. What, what are you talking about? What did they do? Oh. Let's do business right. with the bananas. Yeah. So, they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll, we'll flog them. <laughs> so, that got a stop to it then. The people, the monkeys came. They didn't have money. They said, give us some, mon you know, give us some bananas. Um, and it says, uh, So what, they exchanged bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business no, no, it's comes not. from. A little business no. is set up. Right, there, oh God. That's the end of that as well. So that's the end. That is a shame. That's the end of Rockbusters and Monkey News. Well done. You've done it in one show. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news! <laughs> Uh, excellent. So, Monkey News Time on XFM. Carl Pilkington.
The man in the hot seat. Carl, what have you got for us? Okay, uh, monkey news this week. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Um, <laughs> now do you know how, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. It's, it's not called a manicure though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right? If look good and stuff. Yeah, well look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> that cover the chip. Of course, it's not. No, 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 it is because think about it. Right? <laughs> no, not think about it. If... What do you mean? Yes, it is. Of course, it's not run by a couple of chimps. What do they do? Get a loan. Right. If a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest, yeah. Where would you go to a place that's run by humans that don't what don't they don't know what chimps' needs are? No. My point is this: How did they get it together? How did the two what two chimps, what Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Chimp, went for a loan? So I'll tell you what we need: a spa. I think I think it started off quite simple, right? Just a, uh, just you know, basic basic stuff. <laughs> but they've chimps expanded coming... over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> Go! They've, they've all heard know. about it. Now the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the the top and bottom of it, right? <laughs> Christ. The I problem don't... is. It's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it. They're telling friends and stuff. They're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the the problem is, it's this little uh, little monkey, little man monkey, and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship. They can play around if they want. Well, the problem is they're not married, Oof. right? Some now trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is because it's his name that's down on all the, all the Carl, stuff. Carl, all the forms. Absolutely. Let him I don't, finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's going to happen? Sure. What if are you getting? This, where away, are you getting this from? What? Internet. <laughs> Carl, I don't know where to start. No, this is the. This can, is just, the uh, can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So the problem is, the the the, the female monkey is worried that the male monkey is going to die. What's going to happen with the out. business? What's going to happen? Of course. Right now, what do you mean the business? The 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 health that is spa. the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's name. It's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh, the woman monkey has got some kids, but because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not going to be handed down to them. And the court, their they're kids from a previous monkey marriage. Yeah, right. Uh, so that they're not going to get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't want to check the facts. Otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. And they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they where they've got the the uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there, they've seen the success of it. Sure. And they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So. Give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play a record. That's the worst, that's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal. Right, it's the time that most people I imagine have been waiting for. Monkey news. Play the jingle. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right. Um, Come on. <laughs> Come on. It should be ready, Carl. Uh, it's we're, amazing, we're isn't it? It's the, like, uh, Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, ooh, the bomb. No, no, that's not the first. Um, Come on! No, it's always difficult, isn't it, to, to sort of find something that's good each week, right? Last week, we did the chimps. It is for us, yeah. Did, it, we had the chimps who were running a health spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Uh, we've covered the one who, who nicked a car to go on to Spain. Yep. To wow. sort his future out. All, all shite. Uh, the hairdresser. I think he's, you know, we've done that one, the little monkey hairdresser. This week uh, we're looking at monkeys, um, that they're using- do you know, like, monkeys, they, 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 know, they know- they know how, like- I've how, lost the will to live, Steve. Oh, well, I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, well, come on, just- come on! What are monkeys good at? What are monkeys good at? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, running small businesses, <laughs> cutting people's uh, hair, uh, and driving cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right, is, like, weighing up the situation. <laughs> If you stick them in a- in like a- a field with loads of o like, obstacles on it, right, they're good at sort of, yeah, I can get over that, and I'll climb over that, I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere, I've thought- oh, Somewhere! Come on. I've thought we can use that, we can use that skill, right? What? And what- what- the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of, uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test. Yeah. And the ones that score above 80, Right. Get to produce this show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> <laughs> right. How do they join the army and what do they do? They just, um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them. They do that. They do a cross country run. They do, um, the a cross IQ country test. run? Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Long, yeah. Slightly longer arms, shorter legs than usual, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, basically then they taught how to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh, You're talking rubbish again. This- this came- this came through literally, you know, pretty late- late on, so- So you've not had a chance to cooperate all the facts, as usual? Just have a look. <sighs> right, uh, it's the inter- the bit I'm looking for is, well, A, why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Yeah. Why do we need monkeys in the army? And, secondly, why are we giving them guns? I'll yeah. just check to see if any of that- I don't know if that we only let gays in recently. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <coughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, just have a look. I can't read it. I, that's too much pressure. But I'm it's sure rubbish. Just have, just have a, just have a, but have it's a rubbish. Way. They don't get. It's, again, it's the way that there are things that, that you. There are there are animal cores, right? There are horses. There are dolphins, sea lions. Uh, you know, there are lots and lots of animals in the army, but they don't have to pass. <laughs> An obstacle test, as such, and they're not taught to fire guns. Well, you see. straight away assume that they're going to be there's going to be uh, loads of squads of men, and then just one little monkey in the middle. <laughs> like you know, he did. He came second on the test. He's in. <laughs> He's in, boys. What do you think, Steve? You've you've read it. Well, as ever, Carl. This is an arbitrary email sent by one of our listeners. You know what Ricky and I think of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we're not really basing this on hard evidence, we're basing it on the ramblings of one of our listeners. Rubbish. Once again, lazy, rubbish, uncorroborated, nonsense, the stupid test that you got wrong. Rick, that <laughs> sounds like monkey news to me. <laughs> Play the jingle. Uh, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A particularly aggressive jingle this week. Wow. Yeah, looking forward to this monkey news. <laughs> Carl, right? Come on. So, what's the name? What? We've done. <laughs> Sorry, what? Really? What? What? Brilliant. We've done. Uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who like got involved in crime and stuff. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right. We had uh, the one on the train station, yep. Nick in a bag. Yeah. We had the one who went Don't into a that bank. One. Who cares? Went into a <laughs> bank <laughs> and walked out with the money and stuff. Yes. Right. Didn't happen either. Next. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them. If they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime and stuff. Oh, this monkey news update! <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is... Yeah. It's got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, you mean wild animals? You mean... A they, zoo? Yeah, yeah. A zoo or a kennel or no. something that where they've... they've it's been mm. uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. It's yeah, a prison. Is it, is it, does it have fraud cases? It's got- it's I mainly- bet, I, I, mainly sort of animals that are attacked things, and it's mainly violence, I bet. That's my- That and- uh, that and theft. Say it again? Stuff. Theft. <laughs> Say it again? Theft. Say it again? Robin. Uh, no, let's go back to the, the, the- that word. We're gonna keep doing it. You've got- we've got Robin. six minutes. You're gonna say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, you say it. 
No, well, you say it. Well, does anyone know how to say it? Well, all right, Robin then. It's been caught Robin. Say it again though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So, uh, they've got this <laughs> prison, right? This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not gonna say it? No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And, uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys. Right. That are in there for life. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off for there's eleven. Yet? There's eleven. I'll give you the bit of paper because I thought this was. <laughs> weird. Now, you, you thought it was a bit weird. Now, Carl, what uh, what are they in there for then? Because I mean, they're in there for life, so I'm Robin, assuming it's murder, Robin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Premeditated murder. <laughs> they're not. They're not crime bosses, are they? They're not. Not are they, the, are they the prostitution and gambling? Are you sure they're not the, just the pawns and the and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree going? Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery! <laughs> it's I, not. Wonder if, I wonder if they get them. Right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just as ever <laughs> the ba back of a fag packet found in a toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly- if, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort, because it does open with the headline, Parole unlikely for inmates of monkey prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Officials <laughs> say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail- Officials? Now, what kind of people <laughs> work at a monkey jail? <laughs> where do you work? Uh... Um, uh. it says officials say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the Daily, uh, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Monty Bar, blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for 18 months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All basically, eleven monkeys. They were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing them up. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials believe part of the problem has been caused by thieves training monkeys to help them. Lorry drivers training monkeys as guards for vehicles and itinerant entertainers oh, using so ill treated annoying. monkeys as and part it's of the, their it's the monkey that takes the rap. It's a shame, that isn't that it? That is awful. They didn't know what they were doing, did they? Oh, so there you go. What do you think of that, though, Carl? What would you, what would, if you, if you could visit them, like Lord Longford, or something? What would you, what would you say to them? You go there and they, you, you get a visit a week or summer, you know. So can you get us a video? <laughs> 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 right? Do they get uh, conjugal rights? Do you reckon? You wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? What's the get what? <laughs> would you be happy to give them their conjugal rights? Yeah, would you? Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Off to Hastings. <laughs> Off you See go. Excellent. Well, that's nearly it. It's the big one. It's what people tune in for. Ah, they probably tune in about ten to these days. For Monkey News. With, uh, Carl Pilkington. Can we hear the jingle? Only four to go. Oh, chimpanzee that Monkey News! <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's about a, uh, it's been emailed in to me. Right. right. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been I busy. hope it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908 and the person saying it's, you know, it's a good story and that, and I'd be surprised they haven't picked up on it yet, right? <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right? Mm. Um, in 1908 in <laughs> London. <laughs> Apparently it was meant to happen in, in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why, right? And it happened in London. Mm. Anyway. 400 metres, right, it was meant to, uh, <laughs> there was a fella who was, who was gonna do the run, right, and the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy, right, who right. was like a new Okay, uh, these, these are the few things it cannot be. One, he injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. Uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. <laughs> um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm gonna go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this, this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's gonna do it, gonna Is he hairy? Little, is this bloke it? hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run. And you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win. And suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm, right? he's eating a banana. <laughs> and there's a fella, there's a fella, there's a fella in the lane next to him. Yeah. Right, he's going up. Who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. 
right? Doesn't look familiar. Who's he? Yeah. You know, weird, like, what's weird, going on? What's going on? What's yeah. going on? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Who is it? I mean, I'm not what is it? So they go in. <laughs> so they say, well, he might not be that any good. Do you know what I mean? He might not be good. He might. It's just a bit short, and he's, doesn't matter. He's only three foot six, and he's hunched over on his knuckles. So, I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be any good. <laughs> so, so the race starts. Oh, he put his finger up his ass. That's weird for runners to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fella that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We had yeah. our money on the favourite, what's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. <laughs> right. Okay. right. Long arms, long arms. That trophy's higher than- So God. anyway- He's so only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. It's so, really, so I'm they, suspicious. Go on. They had the, they had the picture in the paper the next day. <laughs> sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but- Quite hairy for a run. Oh, for f- I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite hairy for a run, because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s make them faster and- No. Like, how did he manage it? It's really hairy and that. So anyway, he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli Olympic committee, look further into it, turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. Right. No, don't keep talking. Shut, Shut up. up. Shut up. This is monkey news. If you can't handle the news- It's news from 1909 and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. <laughs> right, be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right? Now Don't the thing is- Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic Committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of like- NO races. SHUT UP! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing, <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. DON'T TALK SHIT! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to Athens? What is- it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? right. I do not believe it. Nearly there, but, you know, we're working our way up to the grand finale. The bit where Carl spouts absolute nonsense from a dodgy source on the internet about a monkey who did something impossible. Let's cue up the jingle. Hang on. Alright. Perfect. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right. Uh let's have a look. This one's from, uh... <sighs> From some woman, right? Yeah. And she's, um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride, right? Mm. Lovely day, weather's good and everything. What year? She's, uh, just a uh, couple, couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training, right? Done all the training and stuff. Mm. Uh, got a brand new bike for it, got a little puncher outfit and stuff, all set for the day, right? It's a nice day, she sets off, they all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton, yeah. right? So she knows the route and that. Got a little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right, okay. I'm stopping now. Um, if uh, a cyclist overtakes her <laughs> and it's going really fast and it's sort of hunched over, but it's got like lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles and they can't tell what it is, but they just know it's a, like a uh, little hairy um, fella um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs, which is weird, isn't it? Because cyclists usually shave their legs and this bloke had really hairy legs. But, um, and it won. They gave it the medal. It won three years running. They gave it the key to the city. Uh, it had its own game show. And then well, someone said, hold on, though, this fella's all hunched over and he's only three foot five and his arms are longer than his body. Uh, it's a chimp! If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. More monkey news next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And uh, this tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that. <laughs> There's oh. always one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it. Little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just go on then. Well, the tricycle comes. Whizzing past, past, yeah. Him. Strong legs, didn't they, Jims? So she's thinking that's. But didn't get a chance to see the face. Oh, yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> you! Oh, God! You bald mank git! Go what? on! Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. So, <laughs> so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And um, they got talking, that's it. It was a nice day, nice race and all that. <laughs> so did you see. Uh, a little, little thing on a tricycle. Thing! Well, no, well, 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 person, surely, just a human. Did you see that, no, did you see that bloke on the tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out- tricycle! Yeah! But so, what did you say, thing? Well, no, that's, well, that's suspicious. I mean, what did you say, did you see that fellow on a tricycle? 
Anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. <laughs> Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um- <sighs> We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, okay, I'll I stop you there mention. again. Right? <laughs> If it turns out she doesn't lose, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our chimp, it used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing it. No, 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 no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. <laughs> yeah, sure. She didn't, I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, turns out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. Of course not. Because now the owner of the chimp, Wants to enter it into the Tour de France. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna die! Oh God! Oh, in uh, in oh, 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. <laughs> I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. One. Oh God! How, Steve, help me out. How did it get hold of the tricycle? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, that's fine. That's that's, that's not an important know. point. Look, like, that's important. How What's the matter it... with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to? How, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle? But more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride? On following, that? just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and so <laughs> far. <laughs> no, he hadn't. It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in 2005. No, it doesn't. Um. But there's something about animal rights. If if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> no! The animal rights is that it's cruel to make a tube ride a bicycle. Not, Not if that wants it's to. prejudice that it go. Is it because I is hairy? You idiot! Right. So. Wow, that is the worst. That is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> Unbelievable. Steve. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Okay, monkey related news from Carl Pilkington. Right, uh, do you know the monkey that went into space? Yeah. Yep. It happened in 1958. Right. Now you know that. Yeah. Yes. What did he do next? What, what did, what did the monkey next? do next? Yeah. One appearance on uh, Celebrity Squares and it was like forgotten. Right. Uh, yeah, cut a no novelty record. Yeah, it's well, just like Rick Waller. I'll tell you what happened. He, uh, uh he got back and all that. <laughs> he got back. <laughs> Heroes welcome. NASA sort of said, you know, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where a lot of people think, think, you know, it all ended. Sure. Yeah. But NASA were like, well, hang on a minute. We spent he's a trained. lot of time, we've trained him up and stuff. So he's like, you know, he's saying, sure, sure, you know, I've learnt a lot, I've still got it all, I've kept it all, I know what to do. So they said, right, we'll use you. So he turned into, like, a bit of a trainer at NASA. <laughs> we wanted to send you out on the top of an organ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put on you, this little bellhop outfit. <laughs> Could you smoke fags? <laughs> yeah. I'll have a go. So he was, they were getting in new monkeys, you know, the, the main man at NASA was saying, can you teach these the same? He's going, of course I can. Do you know what I mean? I remember it all, I know what's going on, I'll tell him what button to press, what to do in emergencies, that sort of thing. Um, it was technically sort of employed by the army. Right, can, I, can I just, can I just fit in here? I, I, I don't know the story, Carl, and I, I might embarrass myself here, you've got an army of people out there that have probably sent me uh, an equally, um, deranged email from a different website, but I'm pretty sure when they sent the monkey into space, it was to monitor his f physiology. He didn't, he <laughs> didn't press any buttons or learn to dock or take off. <laughs> It's just, it was just the effects of weightlessness and space on, um, basically a primate. I'm pretty sure he was tied in with electrodes to mm. his head. Mm. So, yeah. well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I people, could be proved, but on. even if that were the case, and he had learned to press one or two very basic buttons. Definitely not. Definitely but not. even if it were the yes. case, I'm Def pretty certain not. they wouldn't have brought him back to train up Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> right, definitely. Go on, but go him on. Him going, Neil, what are you going to say when you come out there? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I was thinking of just saying, <laughs> I'm on the Hello, it's made of cheese. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't what say about, that. I've noticed that you've got little legs, yeah. right, but mankind stepped forward. Well, how could I put that? I was just going to say, oh, I'm on the moon, it's great to be no, here, I wish you no, were here. I've got things over Hi, there, Mum. Yeah, go on. Anyway, basically, he got back, they sorted him out with a nice pension, he mm -hmm. was happy. Um because of, like, the rank that he got, he, the, he was like, you know, he had loads of, uh, medals and stuff, he said, right, we'll make him a colonel. He got that. 
Um, yeah. Like I say, he got a pension. Um, that was the end. He died in 1969. He was ba- uh, buried with his wife. He passed away. <laughs> his wife. I'm sure. I'm sure it just goes onto a different website <laughs> yeah. about something completely different. Yeah, you're like, talking about Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His page is missing. Oh dear. So well, that w- Carl. I'm. Like, if someone could call in. Did they train Lyca the dog to sort of like, you know, dock and re-entry? He never made it back, did he, Lyca? We'll they didn't out. bother. We'll they didn't week. even bother. Didn't bother to bring him they back. just sent him up there and then they didn't have technology to bring him back and they just went, yeah, that's there. That's brilliant. Well, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, amazing. Really? Yeah. What do you think of that, Carl? Rubbish, innit? Sort of brought it down a bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the little monkey made a colonel. Hero. Big hero. What was he in? What craft was he in? Uh, Sputnik. Just hang on a minute. He was in, um, Jupiter AM. Yeah. Let me see that piece of paper. Yeah, I, I, I can guarantee there's nothing there about his, his training other than let's hope he's not sick on the control panel when we shoot him up at 400 Gs. <laughs> oh dear. That's, that's I love the is. fact that you think that this monkey was a high- <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do, do <laughs> you, when, when you think of these things that are less in the monkey's face, do you think of the planet of the apes? Like they're sort of talking, sort of chimps and gorillas, and they're they're in tunics on horseback with snub-nosed rifles. <laughs> what do you think of? Just a little monkey getting on with it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his job. He knows what he's got to do. He gets on with it. Look, he's pressed the button. Watch him press the button. This takes me back. Do you remember 1965? I think it was. We're going to use him to train other DJs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it then. Goodbye. Ooh, thanks. Well, cheers. Cheers. Okay, monkey news. Do you want a bit? Yes, please. Play jingle. the jingle. This rash is weird. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right. Uh, right, they were filming a documentary, right, this telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Hey, which one? Which one? Which I one? I don't know. No, right, what was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Right, where, when was this? I haven't got a date. <laughs> okay. Recently though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, if you want it. <laughs> okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news, news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads? I don't think so, no. What happens? Halfords, they've, they've, uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um... Yeah. And what, what happened? Packet? Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> Bicycles and... <laughs> And motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the oven. What happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at what? him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, they, uh, there was a load of hassle because they were using these monkeys in this Alfred's advert. Yes. <laughs> and what happened? Get to the point. It turned out it wasn't a problem because they were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen. Let's get let's get back on. <laughs> they were mechanics in the first place. <laughs> right. Listen. Right. So they're making this documentary. Right. And uh, stumble across a, a little gang <laughs> of uh, little gang. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just get I'm, on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed. I'll hear that. <laughs> I know. Well, brilliant. What do you want? A cake? <laughs> Come on! Can we play a song? Oh, I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story! Alright then, alright. <clears throat> so anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. Gotta hide your love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9, I'm looking to with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, monkey where news. We? Where Everyone's we? composed. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, where were we? We would just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay. For making a documentary in, uh, in the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on! All right. Um, a little gang of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing, all fun. nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. 
They don't. They're not running a restaurant. They've not got any barber shops. Nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business. Yeah. So anyway, uh, mm. the what what normally happens is the monkeys st sleep with the partner. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want? They, they don't sort of sleep around in that. Once they find, oh, well, the, no, once no, they no, find no. the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they, st they stick with them, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And uh, it's it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oily. And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So, uh, followed it round. <laughs> and uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little monkey prostitute. And it was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. <laughs> charging them bananas. <laughs> what was it, a boy or it was a woman. Little woman monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh that is genius. Has this documentary been televised? Mm. Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. No. And that's all the information you've got. <laughs> yeah. And and is that that's um, that's one banana for everything? The half a banana is for just oral. Uh, a poor job. Right. Um if you want full blown uh monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. <laughs> sure. Sure. So uh Let's just play a song. Anyway, it's what everyone's been waiting for. for it's what Carl time. exists for for the last time. It's the it's monkey news. Play so, the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, are you, are you uh, familiar with Undreth Monkey? Keep the talking. Undreth Monkey? Undreth? Oh, yeah, like as in like, uh, one more than 99. Hundredth. Yeah. The one hundredth monkey. Yeah, are you, are you familiar with that? No. No. Oh. Uh, anyway, thanks, that was well, monkey we'll, news. We'll uh, that, next then. week, Adam and Jeff. What do you mean you're gonna leave that? Well, I thought it was a popular phrase or something. What, hundredth monkey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a popular phrase? What, what, why? What? Cos you're gonna do songs and phrases with it next week. We've said it once before, hundredth monkey. No, it's just, uh, it says the expression hundredth monkey. Well, do it anyway, it what's the story? From. Well, it's from the 1950s, right? Mm. And the way that they got it because, um, <sighs> they were following some monkeys about, right? And they started- <laughs> Who was? Who was? Who was? was? Journalists. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> oh yeah. Just to say what what they're up to. Right? Okay, so they're following some monkeys around. Yeah, <laughs> what was it? What a documentary. Anyway, one of them. Come on, come on. One of them washed some potatoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Let's leave that. Right. Let's leave. Let's leave that one. Come on. A monkey what? washed some potatoes. Can we leave that one? No, no, we not. It's you've got to do it now. <laughs> they're they're following a t what is it? Like, like, sort of like a family. Is it a family of monkeys or? It was just one chimp, and it was washing a potato, and he thought that's a bit odd. Right? Yeah. And oh, then yeah. It, it turns out that, that, that ended up teaching another monkey yeah. how to wash a potato. No, they do it, they do they go down and wash them in the sea, cos they like, they like the taste of salt. And the it's, weird it's, thing it's, is though, they when, pass it got, on, when it got to the hundredth monkey, right, even though it hadn't been taught how to wash a potato, yeah. it automatically knew, it knew what to do. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? It, it was in them. It was in them that, that they knew that when they get a potato, they had to wash it. That isn't the monkey news. I'm just I'm just saying that's where the expression comes from. But you haven't even heard of that. So well, there's a couple of things there that it could be a, a, another upshot, and you know, an instinct is is part of your genetics and anything else. Washing a potato, but, but you can't pass on acquired characteristics. So that's nonsense. If you mean that uh, someone was taught they had a child and it knew it, there's no there's no chemical no. memory as such. In so that wasn't even that's monkey news. No, the the monkey news. You know, we've we've covered a lot of stuff. There was sad, <laughs> there was sad, sad stuff, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, there's some funny stuff in there. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do like monkey that, news. Playing robbers and that. Um, football team. A monkey football team. Yeah, in mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica. Oh yeah. Uh, got all the uh, got all the team members here, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all the different things. Um, little goalkeeper. Apparently he's on transfers from some other club. But the bit that got me attention is, apparently he's a holder of PhD of physics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a look at that? Oh, well, the goalkeeper. Yeah, just the goalkeeper. The the others haven't done that much. <laughs> the others haven't done that much. Well, I believe that he's got better exam results than you, Carl. But I don't believe he's got a PhD in physics. Good Obviously. Guy. Do you know what the name of the team is? Coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. oh! So, if the Telegraph are listening, that is the sort of quality entertainment you get. Where's the monkey news? It's, it's been a bit quiet, and it? I've been- What, in the last three out. months? Look, uh, there was something that I found last week about, uh, one that was in an old people's home. Um, <laughs> it, it escaped from some zoo, it was wandering about, it was enjoying itself, and then when it got to the night time, it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> and the first place it came across was like this old people's home. Yeah. Went in there, I think it was there for about a week and a half, <laughs> without anyone realising. No. No, no, no. No, no, it did. No, what, what, so, so the, the helpers and the nurses and the, the social workers and the, the matrons and all that, they thought, well, uh, Mr. Sanders looks a bit hairy, <laughs> but I mean that happens. You, you know, it comes out of your ear and your nose when you get to about seventy. <laughs> and he stooped over. Yeah, of course he has. He got bow legs. Yeah, and he eats more fruit. Of course he does. Well, that, that's when they that's when they realised. Why? Because the someone in the kitchen said, "Hang on a minute, getting through more bananas than we know." <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else you got? Monkey news. Yeah. Well, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Oh, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have so some monkey news. Some monkey news. You made enough noise there, really? You wanna... Sorry, but it's. It, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f. Right. Um, I haven't read this through properly, so. Oh, <laughs> for oh, no, no, oh, I'm just. Oh, zoomed that. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? Basically, right, it's, it's, um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, in it now, chat rooms, you get on there, you can Right, if you say someone was having a, <laughs> a meeting with someone, Please they wanted to meet- Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, it. Right, okay. Right, there is no- there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate and understand. Right, I know the story? <laughs> You and said, you said that Did they get mad? It was three months later, and she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want a divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me. Bobo. You, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they're, if they're given the time. No! That's let's not it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare It's a philosophical monkeys. conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the- it's about- uh, yeah, yeah. Infinity. Right, so this one, this one, then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and that's that. Who's that, Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were they were looking over it, trying to look for, for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like really strange things, like instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar, right, it'd be like... Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet? Right, okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later. Anyway. I'm just gonna listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's let's, online. Let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How, you, you are, you're nearly, you're, you're ill, you're nearly, you you, okay, right. well, I don't have the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something sexy, they'd say make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute. Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying should we get married, they're saying how swollen and red is your ass? <laughs> Do you you're stupid what? fool. Do you no, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got monkey mean? news? Have we left monkey news behind? Monkey news! Come on! What happened? You can't offend monkeys! I'll tell you what is annoying. What? Steve's told me about a film that is about a monkey going off with a woman. Mm. The Charlotte Rampling thing where she It's a film takes called Max Monomour. Yeah, she has an affair with a monkey. Go on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You wouldn't like don't it. Don't go, we can't go into You wouldn't like monkeys. it. You wouldn't like it. It's not, it's not like, it's, it's weird and it, you wouldn't, d Carl, it's not like a nature programme where he wears a bowler hat and can talk. Okay. The nature programmes that you <laughs> seem to see. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to think that I've seen that one. <laughs> yeah, no! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do monkey news. Well, monkey news this week. Play the um, Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f- Right, it's about this monkey that was knocking about in the 1950s. Right. Um, just, uh, it was known in the sort of <laughs> LA area, right? Um, and apparently, um, again, I haven't really checked all this out, I've just picked up bits that, that look right. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, wore a golden mask and like a cape and a, a leopard skin belt and stuff, right? So people didn't know. He, he was, was a monkey. monkey. Of course they didn't know, yeah. He just thought, they thought he was this bloke who's going around and he was helping out crime situations and stuff. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. So, one, this disguise, that, that you see a, a, a three foot six bloke with arms the length of his body. No, but that's the funny thing, right? They knew, they sort of thought, it's a bit odd, you know, 
is stocky, yet extremely flexible. Yeah, and hairy, cos he only wore a white mask and a belt. And a distinctive jawline and stuff. And then, uh, right. apparently, like, he used to sort of get to his- Nothing we say gets through, does it? You've- you've- you've decided you can picture this month going around solving going crimes, and it's- telling you. Let him finish the story. Time's running Jeez. out. So it sort of get to its crime by, like, swinging from the trees and stuff. Of course stuff, it would, right? yeah. Well, people just thought, it's a normal fella. Of course. Then what happened was, he- This is the bit that's gonna annoy me, isn't it? He helped some fellas out, like, you know, and for a reward- for a reward, they were like, do you want some money? You know, you've- you've helped save our lives during a crime and stuff. Mm. Do you want some money in that? And he just went straight for the shopping bags, got a couple of bananas and apples, <laughs> right? And as he was bent down, looking into the bag, getting the bananas and apples, they pulled his mask off, little monkey. So he wasn't allowed to work for the police anymore? It, it ended there. Sure. Weird, well, no. They got rid of monkey news. Was it? Oh, no, is there no monkey news? No, it's gone on this week. Don't talk sh t there must be some monkey news. It's not like it's real news. You tell us stories about chimps from the 18th century. It's no, don't don't it give all, me nothing happened now. this week, you just didn't look at the internet. Did look. The and there's no was, news, there nothing was, happened. There was one little bit of monkey news about, um, <laughs> how you can now buy tea that's been picked by little chimps because it- because it tastes good. Right. That's, that's what they're saying. Right. Why does it taste good? What I do they know. do to it? I don't know. It just annoyed me. Is it, is it those chimps from the PG tips? Well, that's, that's <laughs> the annoying Are they dressed up, having funny conversations? Well, like, that's in the thing. Everyone made a fuss about, you know, that's cruel, making them pick a piano up. Yeah. If I was a chimp, I know what job I'd prefer. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Doing removals rather than standing <laughs> in a field picking tea and that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. He probably thought that was a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> he thought it was a, a trailer for a Channel 4 programme. <laughs> right, haven't got long. We better give the winner. We've got monkey news coming up. We haven't really got any monkey news. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you there's, mean? There's nothing going on, seriously. Don't talk- what do the you mean? The last few weeks I've but keep don't telling you- No, 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 I- uh, Right, right. This really annoys me when you say there's something going on. Because you call it monkey news, but it's not yeah. monkey news. You have stories of- dubious but stories- of a shut up a minute! About chi- it's always chimps, which annoys me you call it monkey, because they're apes, right? And it's often from the 18th century, mm -hmm. so it's not news anyway. So don't tell me there's oh, no monkey no, news this week. No, but what I'm saying is, if there's monkey news worth doing, I'll know about it. <laughs> And there isn't anything, right. so let's leave it. Right, okay, you are gonna give me some monkey news, well, me, or- Okay, right. well I'll tell you, I'm telling you, you are gonna give me some monkey news, or we're not leaving. Right, well my mum sent me some. Right? right. I got a little letter from her doing the usual sort of stuff, telling me what she's been up to and that. Uh, it was a little thing about, uh, somewhere in Lincolnshire or something. Right, good. To do a bit of, uh, do a bit of monkey throwing. <laughs> oh god, uh, what do you mean? Because some fella got attacked by one once. And sort of to remember him, on this certain day, they go, oh, it was today, wasn't it? And that fella got attacked by a little monkey and that. And the, uh, something about chucking monkeys about. That's horrible. I don't know if they're real, I think it's just like to remember. All right. But that's, that's the only sort of stuff that's knocking about out there. <laughs> but it's not, that, well, that's not I've got my mum and dad on it, looking all the time. <laughs> yeah, there must be more monkey news than that. There isn't nothing going- I mean, there's- there's bits and pieces. There was a bit about Donna Air, how when she has a kid, she's gonna let a gorilla look after it for a week or something. But apart from that, it's- that's it's dead out true. there. That's probably true. Well, I don't know what that means. She's, uh, well that's it. Apparently, well, it's not uh, true. She's not gonna let a gorilla look after a no, child. No, it is. Apparently a, a fella works with him or something, and, uh... This is rubbish! It's not rubbish. How can she let a gorilla look after a baby for a week? Well, forget it. So, have you ever heard her speak? <laughs> Uh, I showed those looking. This, people send monkey news all the time for Carl, yeah. and I showed him one earlier, which said there's a new monkey hospital that's been opened. Yeah. Carl, now, that's for, the, for, the, for the treatment of monkeys. Right? But he immediately thought it was run by monkeys yes. in white coat. Did he really? Yes, and he was disappointed because it wasn't. He was assuming there'd be little janitors. Is that what you said? Yeah, little janitors mopping up. Um, Carl, little chimps with the ECG machines, or whatever they're called. Um. <laughs> Clear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> he was ang almost angry. Yeah. Disappointed with it. And what's this about Donna Air giving her baby to a gorilla for a week? It happened. No, it didn't happen. She had a baby, <laughs> they went on the honeymoon, they left it to a little gorilla to look at. <laughs> don't! Talk! Absolutely! It's, don't talk! Oh, God! Again, there's people online now so they can have a look at Anna Nova. Do you want to give her, do you want to give some stuff away? Do some, uh... <laughs> he believes it and that's 
it. But the more these things sort of like pop up come true, the wor more worrying it is. The more <laughs> worrying it is for everyone. I imagine if Donna Air had left her baby to a gorilla. It's absolute. It's libelous. Are you saying that? It's libelous. It's not. Well, you'll, someone will send it in in a bit, and then you'll you'll feel daft again. So I'm not even worrying about it. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much that. Is there time for monkey news? I think we've got to have monkey news, Let's and then it. that that second track from the Ryan Adams. Let's play the jingle then, if we can. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, you. F right now, uh, it was back in the 1980s. Right. So it is quite topical then. Mm. Um, okay. When did this happen then? 1980s? Yeah. Yeah. It's about a, uh, Colombian F1 sort of, form you know, Formula One driver. Yeah. Uh, apparently these races were going on, right, and, uh, someone kept winning them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay, forget it. Forget it. No, don't do it. It's cause it's rubbish. Cause it's rubbish. Right, so someone kept winning the races. So, uh, uh, this, this, um, this someone, this, this human, um, that kept winning the races. Th so this human being that kept winning the races, um, Carl, what was his name? Um, his name is it? It's Jimmy something. Yeah. What? How tall is he? Well, Just something interesting. No, 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 Sh never showing his body that's right, or face? That's right, that's right. Never you're took joking. his helmet off. <laughs> you are a- you're an idiot. Never took his helmet off, right? You know- you know the short trousers he used to wear? <laughs> the, you, know, his, you know his trousers were about a foot long, but his shirt- the, the sleeves were really long! Anyway, right, so because he wouldn't take his helmet off- You're an idiot. In, he was in- he, he was taking part in like yeah. the F3, which is like the lower ranks yeah. of Formula 1 and that. Just get to it, just get to- Everyone to thought it was like a, a famous driver yeah. who was just taking part get, in that. get to being a monkey. Anyway, what happened on. was, uh, there was a crash one day. Yeah. And the car tipped over, everyone's like, oh. He ran up a tree? <laughs> so- They suspected when he ran away with the ambulance people up a tree and started eating a banana? So the marshals ran over and the ambulance people were there and they yeah. were about to take his helmet off and the marshals were like, don't take his helmet off. Yeah. Give away the secret that he's a monkey. Give away the secret yeah. and that. Yeah, chimp. Yeah. Took his helmet Jimmy off. Jimmy Chimp. Jimmy Chimpers. <laughs> Little monkey under there. No, definitely not. Okay, let's play Ryan Allen. Did, did he survive? Was Let me yeah. just cover questions. Did he survive? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah. He, he, he was allowed to keep all the awards that he won. Sure. But he wasn't allowed to take part in any other races. Yeah, didn't happen. Uh, this is Ryan Adams. Uh, we'll see you next week. Play the jingle. Oh! What is it? Chimpanzee that. Oh, yeah. Chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, well, the last one of the year. <clears throat> it's not that good, but this is all that's been going on all week. Yeah. Uh, little monkey. Um, what happened is, it's this plane, right? Aeroflot, I think it is. Russian airline. Um, <sighs> having a good, having a good flight. Everything's going normal and that. This is gonna be libelous. The, the pilot, sorry, I mustn't interrupt my side. The, the, was, how tall was the pilot on this flight? Okay, listen, we've had a few complaints, people saying, don't but, interrupt, but don't interrupt Steve. monkey news. Okay. Don't interrupt okay, monkey news. Okay, I won't then. It's like okay. the weather girl complaining whilst Trevor McDonald's doing the Okay, alright. Go on then. Right. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, the, you know, the flight's going well, food's been served and all the rest of it. Anyway, someone gets upset about not having many nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, they've not got enough nuts. Oh, they, okay. hand the, they hand the nuts out and that. One of the sort of passengers is going mental. Because what, what's, he, what's he saying? He's just, he's just What language mad. is he talking though? Is he Russian or English? So anyway, there's a bit <sighs> of a fight going on, a fight starts happening, people are going, what's up with that little fella, right? The little bloke. So, uh, they, they sort of drag what's him. Wrong, what's wrong with Bob Hoskins? And why is he screaming? Why isn't he talking in his usual Cockney accent? Why is Bob Hoskins screaming and grabbing at nuts? So, um... You've ruined it now, right? Come on, come no, on! Oh, forget oh, it, forget oh, it. Oh, I'm ruined! Right, Rick, turn his microphone off, okay. can't interrupt right. you. Right. So anyway, so there's a fight going on, nuts are going everywhere, right? So, um, anyway, so they, they manage to tie him down, they get him on the floor, tie his legs up and that, right? His little legs. Get him to the- get him- <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come See on! See you later, have a good Christmas. No! Carl, oh, how dare you! Finish the story! All that happened is, they got back, uh, it turned out that he shouldn't have been on the plane anyway. Why? His passport wasn't valid. Right. Um, and you can't cause problems on planes and that. So he got put in a cell for a bit. Turned out it was a little monkey. Uh, All right. Quick question: How did he complain about the shortage of nuts? Yeah, he just was going mental. Right, he didn't actually call over a stewardess. He just. Well, how did, how did he get on the plane first? Place? Right. What ticket did he have? Have a good Christmas and that. But yeah. you know it's rubbish. You so must know that's rubbish. Right. You must best. know that's rubbish. All the best. You must know that's rubbish. Where is he going? Excellent.
Monkey News, we might as well leave it. No, come on, no, come on, on, tell Monkey News. No, it's, it, it's nothing uh, that great, really. Is it worth playing the jingle? Quickly? Go on then. Oh, chimpanzee that, Monkey News! Right, it's about a monkey. 2004, four, 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 four. It's about this, this woman monkey who was born in 1834. <laughs> right? Half monkey, half woman. No. Not true. It happened, apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail. Right? <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, I christened uh, this, uh, thing, uh, Victorian Ape Woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian Ape Woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head, and on the back of her legs, <laughs> and her arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Save stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like ass sticking out the back of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, well, good, because they didn't have opposable thumbs, so, uh... She could speak three languages. Yes. She, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey-human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um... Ah! Absolute twaddle. All right, well, that's... more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A Victorian there, monkey let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. I was worried we wouldn't have the old magic in 2004, oh, but we're still talking shit. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> right. Well, uh, we're running out of time here. Yeah. We had Carl in a little film, but I think we've already got time for monkey news, you know? Yeah. What are you thinking, Carl? Yeah, if you wanna do that. Yeah, let's do monkey news. Alright. Play uh, the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! Uh, right, there's this monkey, right? Oh, yeah. I think his name was number six or number seven or something, right? In this, in this lab, right? Yeah. And, uh, anyway, it's in there. <laughs> uh, with, like, you know, the rabbits and little mice and stuff like that. And, uh... The, the rabbit's smoking. The nurse, right? The nurse, not, well, not the nurse, the, the, the woman who works in the lab, what would you call her? The nurse? Depends. What, what turns out her job was. If she was a lab assistant, you call her a lab assistant. Right. I mean, they probably call her by her name. All right, lab assistant, right? Kirsty. So, uh, so I think it's Kirsty. probably Kirsty. Right, Kirsty yeah. Morris. Well, she's in there, right? Yeah. And she doesn't work with many people and that. She's mainly on her own with, you know, just putting lipstick on rabbits and stuff like that, right? Chimp fancies her? So, uh... <laughs> <coughs> Chimp fancies her? He's putting on lipstick, chimp fancies her? She's got hairy legs? He gets, he gets pally, right, yeah. with, with this woman. Yeah. Because... You know, it, 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 it gets to a point when she sees him every day. <laughs> so that, that's the way he sort of tries to string out like it's a narrative love story. Let, let Did the, chi the chimp put his hand out and grabbed her, and then you're thinking that he made a move on her. So, right, he's, allowed out, he's allowed out, oh, out the cage. it's not a story, is it? He's allowed out the cage and what have you. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, he's wandering about, and as time goes on, he's watching what she's doing more and more, yeah. right? So, he, he notices, like, the code on the door. Right. <laughs> right. She, whatever, two, four, seven, or whatever. Yeah. And he goes, right, I've clocked that, I've got yeah. that, I'll remember that, right? Yeah. And mm. then he goes, right, there's a Definitely lot of lipstick not. and that knocking about, a lot of makeup. Right, okay. Let no, no, there's no him, way. Finish. No, because so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's and ridiculous. He's and he's going, well, if it's there, you know what I mean? So, so while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there, he's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> that, right? <laughs> No! I it's gone too far! Rick, no, it's gone too far, Steve! Right, Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right. the story. So, Turn mine off as well. It's, got it's looking pretty good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking alright, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right? He goes, right, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right? He goes, right, here's my chance. He's looking good. Two four seven out the door. That's your man's there. He's like, all right, Kirsty. Right. Don't talk shit. <laughs> all right. Well, this is the final one. Um, play the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, yeah. Right. Well, uh, this monkey news story. Right. It's about uh, this fella. A couple of fellas in Texas. Yeah. Uh, sort of running a uh, running a farm. Right. Just because they, they're definitely fellas. Well, they're, well, how tall <laughs> yeah, are they? Yeah, no, no, Can no, we no, just, just let Okay, they are human beings. These two are human beings. Times against us. They're, the they're running, running this farm and that. And, uh, yeah. anyway, so they're outside getting the cattle. And they, he turns around, right? He says, that cow's 
<laughs> couple, of, couple of monkeys walking about, so he knows what's going on, right? Mm. So anyway, so it's in Texas. They don't know what to do with the monkeys. There isn't a zoo. It's fairly barren there, isn't it? You know what I mean? Not much going about. Mm. So the other fella who runs the farm with him says, "Look, we need a bit of an hand, oh, right?" So, uh, so let's teach them some stuff. And the monkeys were happy with that because they were lost anyway, right? So they had. <laughs> had a yeah, they do. They were bumming around. They were looking for work. They'd hired a motorhome. They'd yeah. get out of their way. Maybe it's like the Hulk. They're like the Bruce Banner <laughs> wandering <laughs> around, going, oh, "I need some, need some work." You won't get angry, will you? So no. anyway, right? So they taught them. They taught these monkeys how to ride a horse, right? So <laughs> they have both got a. <laughs> Sorry, you, you're sure Charlton Heston's not going to pop up? Both you're sure you weren't watching a video last night and thought it was a documentary? <laughs> they've both got a horse each, right? They've been given like a little lasso and all that. Oh, business. oh yeah. don't talk right. shit, Carl. So, anyway, it's going well, and it carried on for about two years. This, right? It's it like did. you know, r rounding up the cattle over yeah, there yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. um, the two fellas are chatting, going, it's worked out well, hasn't it? All right. Well, if there's a hostile takeover and they sort of like buy up 51% of the shares so or something. So they said, for this to continue, the monkeys are getting old a bit now. We need a, we <gasps> need a little wom woman monkey in here to sort of get some kids going for like the future farm for, people. For right? planning, yeah. So they get a little woman monkey. They in. decided to only uh, hire monkeys <laughs> from Ireland. Why not? It's working. Why mess with someone when it's not broke, right? <laughs> so they get, they get the little woman monkey in. Uh, they have kids and all that business, right? Mm. But the problem was, right? When they first got the woman monkey in, it was like, well, which one's gonna have the woman? Right. right? So, they started sort of fighting a bit and what have you. Yeah. But because they'd seen the owners of the farm don't, with like don't guns Don't tell me stuff, the baby monkeys didn't want to go into the family business, one would have to be a lawyer. They had a bit of a shoot off. <laughs> Shut up! They got two monkeys, right? And don't tell oh, Because they'd seen the owners, they'd seen the owners with guns and what have you. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that sounds that So sounds they, had of, they had a bit of a shoot off. Yeah. That's how they, that's how they sorted it out. And who won? I think it was George, the one called George. Right. So they had, I think they had seventeen kids. The farm's still running. So that's that's like the the last little monkey news. Uh, good little Rick, happy ending to that one. If you were to rub your nipple against his lips while I held him down. Right, come off it now. Come on. No, I'm not doing. Bruce Springsteen, Thunder Road, last tramp on this ends with you, Steve. You can check it all out on the webcam. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I saw I've got the fingers! <laughs> Get his arm out of the way! Get the arm out of the way! This happened on scum! This is scum! This is scum! Mary's dress week! So yeah. good. Just uh, the, the finale is uh, it's monkey news, obviously. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, yeah. Well, uh, there isn't. Uh, I've been away, haven't I? Oh. Uh, there's been no monkey news. You can't get. No, no, but I haven't had, had a proper chance to sort of, you know. Um... Carl, your monkey news is of spurious tales from the 17th century sometimes. <laughs> so let's have one of those. No, it's let's have a monkey that, who dressed as Zorro and they thought he was uh, a woodsman, but when they took his head off, he was only he was a four foot hairy chimp. <laughs> let's have one of those ridiculous stories. Well, we've we've done that though. But uh, do you want to go back on some of the ones? Oh, for just recap? what no, is the monkey one. news? There must have been some monkey news this right. week. The only thing that sort of stood out, do you know, like they're having problems. You're just making this up. Where's your information? Where's the piece of paper? Where's the document? What is this? Because I've been away, so I haven't got anything. Right, look, let's just hit, let's, 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 but let's it's hear bad it enough out. when he's reading it, he gets it wrong. When he's just riffing, it's going to be absolute twaddle. Let's hear it out. Right. Do you know, like they're having problems getting you. New um, people to be policemen. Oh, for f go on. They've uh, in America. They're taking them on to uh, sort of join the SWAT team. <laughs> They've taken what on? Some little monkeys. Okay. Uh, giving them walkie talkies and all that. And uh, well, they can't talk. <laughs> They're just walkies. They don't have to <laughs> yeah, they're giving them some walkies. What do you no, mean? What, what was being given commands and that? And, uh, they go Well, so it's one way. They, they tell them, they've got the little things well, strapped to them. They're good at, like, getting into small, sort of, sort of, you know, small places and that, and sort of, you know, cracking stuff and all that. Like I say, it's just half a story I just picked up on. That's not a story! Well, what do you want? Monkey news! Um, and, uh, what we, what, is, is it time? Is I it think, time? I think so. Yeah? Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right then, so, uh, there's this monkey, right? Right. In Canada. It's in a zoo in, uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right? And, uh, what happened was, all the, the people in the zoo, 
uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do? Uh, sort of spice the day up a bit. Right? Yeah. So they left. Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new let story. Him the news, let him yeah. do the news. Okay. So they, they left. Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news. Well, right? I, 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 interrupt Moira Stewart. It's an out to you. <laughs> no, because she always says today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say, right, there was a monkey, right? right, right, right. In Canada, on, right? Just finish the right. Okay. Be all right. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada. Right. Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder. Right. And they said, let's let's leave it for the uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with. Right. So, um, anyway, they, they passed Wh it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh. Annoys me that he called them monkeys, though. He they're was, not monkeys, they're he apes. Was, he, was a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, <laughs> uh, filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. <laughs> no, he didn't! Just let. Is this the news? What are you talking about? Is this the news? <laughs> God, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good shots. It really annoys me. Let's Any, hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right, so he started, uh, at night, like, when the zookeepers went home, he started filming, like, other monkeys on, on the go, like, right, whilst they were at it, right? And he was filming them and what have you. <laughs> the Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You yeah. know it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> So anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh yeah, um, this is, uh, uh, honestly, so, you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So Can I stop it now? So they thought like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who, who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you, so let's give them the videos. That is so it. untrue! This is so untrue! So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey! So it's so untrue! Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> So oh God! <laughs> you're talking so much shit again. So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Ones. Look at me! Don't keep talking. Look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that b by chance one all this. Oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 two. They go. Hold on. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff. This is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. he's got a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So oh, this is ridiculous. The, 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 let me just recap because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's, they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him saying stuff? Can you go? It's like, just like you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes um, because what happened was um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh. <laughs> Oh and the animals God. and the animals are uh, happy having him around because he's not a human. He's just one of the gang. Do you sure. know what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like you know ostriches. Right. Uh, and talking <laughs> shit. I, I there was I, so. And do you know they have a problem with pandas in in Japan. Yep. So they've they've sent him out there, filming uh, filming a bit. of- Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, you 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 really annoy me. There's Come no on, way this like, is happening. Can we it's just hear the end? Why can't he just find a real story about a a a, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. end. The end is he's really that he's, he's going to China. He's, he's filming the pandas and what. No, he's like. not. They wouldn't send a so, monkey director. Uh, they would not that. send a monkey director. Uh, so listen, it's time, isn't it? We've only got a few minutes left, so you better play the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. <laughs> so monkey news. If you've uh, only just started listening to the show. <laughs> Oh, you poor fool. Um, Monkey News is where Carl um, reports for us all the latest monkey activity. A headline or a word or someone, someone, someone's only overheard in a pub and then totally embellishes it and makes it ridiculous and impossible. He <laughs> believes it though. He believes every word he's saying. Let me say that before you hear, when you hear this, whatever it is, I haven't heard it, twaddle, um, remember, Carl totally believes it. Go on. Right, so anyway, right, I think it's in, uh, in LA, this happened. Right. I think. Why, why does he think? Uh, so these people are in a in a restaurant having a lovely meal. <laughs> Is one of them short and hairy, but it goes <laughs> totally covered from top to bottom in a spacesuit, so he didn't know it was a monkey. It's uh, not one of the customers, one of the waiters. So that, so they're having a having a lovely dinner, probably one of the best sort of dinners they've, they've had, right? Mm. So the waiter comes over and it's like, you know, can we just say that I had a lovely meal and that? Right, it's the chef. Of <laughs> course it is. So can we see uh, the chef? Yeah. So, so can, can we just, you know, see, see the guy who cooked it? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Short fella, hairy? 
So, the waiter, the, said, to be honest, the, waiter, much. the waiter said, look, he's busy, you know, he's got meals to cook and what have you. He hadn't really got time. He said, it only took a minute. He said, no, I prefer, you know. So, this like, is a restaurant in LA that I'll, serves brilliant food. I'll pass, I'll pass your message on and what have you, right? So, um. So, he <laughs> sends for, so, uh, Monkey Pierre White. So, it's a bit <laughs> odd. Anyway. <laughs> So, so they go, so they go out, right? they go, uh, they go out to the car and they notice the, uh, the kitchen door's open. Yeah, right? yeah, of course they do, because they're, they're going to discover something that I don't know. So they they're just... Gonna hold on, this, um, just, just out of interest, this, uh, the, where did this, um, chef train before, before we see him or reveal, you know, what he might look like or mm -hmm. like to eat, yeah, um, uh, um, so well, anyway, so, uh, so they pop their head in and think, we'll just, we'll just nip in and go, yeah, you know, not. love, love, love fruit salad or whatever, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they stick their head See the in. human, we better see the human chef. <laughs> yeah. You never guess what. Go on. Monkey stood on a chair, right, cooking veg. <laughs> right, so anyway, so they're like, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Questions. What do you mean he's cooking veg? What is he doing with it? Well, he's, he's stood on a chair by the, by the cooker and he's, yeah. uh, chopping, st chopping stuff. Oh, he's, he's chopping as well, no? He's just like that, isn't it? Yeah. He's got a little, uh, you know, he's, he's got the, the bosses in there, they're, they're like a bit shocked. So he's a bit panicking because he's got this monkey working for him. So they say to him, what's going on, eh? We didn't know this, this is what's going on, you know, you, why have you got a monkey cooking stuff? So he said, well, the it's really a monkey, I should point out, who probably doesn't need instructions from its girlfriend. <laughs> oh, forget it. Play the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! Right, there's this monkey, right? Yeah. And it had been, uh, do you know you hear about monkeys being badly treated and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, it goes into this, this home, it's fourteen, this monkey, it's called, uh, Matty, right? Goes into this home where it's looked after. What uh, do you mean home? Just like, uh, just a little monkey home, right? Okay, so, so zoo? Yeah, kind of, yeah, but they haven't mm. got any other monkeys there, right? What have they so got there? They've got just other animals and that, but, but not that many monkeys, but anyway, because, mm. because he's there on his own, again, you know, When you say monkey, do you mean a chimpanzee, by the way, because you usually do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't believe that um, journalist thought this was scripted. Amazing. So uh, so anyway, yeah. So it gets it gets sort of pally with the people working there and that, and uh, it's smoking fags. It's having a drink at night and all this. Right. What do you mean it's having a drink at night? How? It's all here. It's all here, Steve. I mean, we haven't really got time. But well, you know, let's say it's all here, like it's proof. You've got another stupid story that no. someone has put onto the internet. Someone sitting at home in their bedroom mm. has put onto the internet. So it's having a fag. It's drinking a lovely glass of Bang Rock Station. <laughs> yeah, the wine evening. that's perfect for a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's loving life, it's forgetting about its past and everything, right? When this, this other monkey comes along. Oh. Oh no. Come on, brilliant. Go on. Right? That comes in, something's said. <laughs> <laughs> Right, forget it then. Forget it. No, no, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. No. Okay, uh, let's play the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, this, uh, this happened in, uh, Pittsburgh, right? Uh, there was a rock band and, uh, they sort of, they've got this studio in, in Pittsburgh and what have you mm. and they're laying down tracks and stuff like that and in the, in the studio that they use, Right, there's this, uh, this monkey works there. Right, <laughs> I love the way he throws that in. Like, cool, like, cool. like, he throws that in, this monkey works there. No, it's just got a little gig there, he sort of, uh, it, it carries the equipment in, guitars. Like <laughs> he doesn't! He does. Uh, no, he doesn't. He just sort of cleans up after the band. No, he doesn't. Emptying the ashtrays. Doesn't that happen. Sort of stuff. It doesn't does. happen. That's the gig it's got. Anyway, right? <laughs> Gets women out of the crowd that they want to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with one arm. <laughs> so anyway, right, so the, the band's in the studio, yeah. right, and uh, one of the band members brings some A&R fella to the studio to have a listen to the latest track, right? Yeah. So they hit play and uh, you know, they're all there going, yeah, brilliant, this is good. Oh, no. Anyway, so the fella says, yeah, I like the track, I uh, especially like the, the bass on it. <laughs> right, it's because it's bullshit. So, this uh, is rubbish. So, so... And they haven't laid down a bass so, track? So, so, so this is, have you heard it? So <laughs> the way, the, Carl, the please thing don't is, do this right, to so me. So the A&R fella goes and yeah. it's like, uh, it, the band members are stood about and they're going, that's good that you liked it. And they're saying, yeah, but what's he on about with the bass? So no, it, this is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. Where did you get this from? Please, because we never Where get this. Get this is absolute so, nonsense. So they played it back. Yeah, right? and it's the chimp playing bass. So, Definitely not. So they were like, 
that's weird, we haven't got a bassist. Anyway, so they go, well, oh, whatever, right. So we haven't leave. got a bassist! <laughs> so, They so, go, whatever, let's go Oh, uh, forget it. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, there's this, uh, card game going on, right? <laughs> In the, in the, uh, <laughs> a, a, a big hotel in, uh, in Vegas. Right. right? The Lux, Luxor Hotel in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, there's a major car game, all the, all the big players and that. Sure. We're, uh, we're involved, mm. right? They're all invited. Mm. Anyway, so they all, uh, they all meet up in this dark room at the back of the- Oh, <laughs> there we the dark go, room. dark room. But hairy fella. So, it was, uh, it was brilliant, that poker. I yeah. say, it's a, it's a big game and that everyone's been waiting for it, so it's played in the back room, not, not in the main entrance bit, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I say, it's dark in there and what have you, and, and the players went in, there was already someone sat in there, right? Right. But, uh, they couldn't, short bloke? couldn't, couldn't <laughs> quite see Was it short hairy bloke with slightly longer <laughs> arms and legs? <laughs> couldn't see him. Where, is, where, where his arms slightly longer than his legs, Frank Zeno? Couldn't see him, Was he uh, holding his hand of cards with his feet? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the cards were dealt, right? Cards yeah. were dealt, games going on. <laughs> his cards with his feet! Game, game went on for hours, right? Look, was, no one's listening. The th terrible thing is that not even we're listening to I Carl know, now. I know. No one, there. literally, no one is listening it's so to Carl. insulting. There was a lot of smoking going on. It's right? going on. A lot of eating, a lot of eating and nuts going on. <laughs> that was a bit weird because they don't normally get through as many, but for this night. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> come on, let's just play Bruce. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you maybe Christmas time. Goodbye. Yeah.